Remember I said there's three things that I want to talk about. I want to talk about optimism versus pessimism, being uh, uh, creating positive stress versus negative. The third one was being a self-starter versus an other directed person. And this is a time to, you know, when you're, when you're on your own, the people who do the best are those people who say, if it's to be, it's up to me. I'm going to go out and do something. I'm going to create something. You won't think of yourself as a third wheel or a fifth wheel. You're going to go and do something. Now, a great study that came out a few years ago, the New England Centenarian Study, looked at people over the age of 100. More women than men, as you can imagine. They found some interesting things. They found a statistically significant number of women over the age of 100 had never been married. No, that's not what you're going to get out of this. All right, think about this. If you have never been married and you make it to age 100, you had to have been a self-starter. You couldn't have been one of those people who sit on the couch and wait for somebody to come and get you. You had to go make your own life. And if you are single, you either already know this, if you become single, you should know this, that the best way to get through this is to say, I'm going to take control. I am responsible for my own happiness. Self-directed people do far better in retirement than other directed people. But here's the issue. It's estimated that about 10% of the adult population could be considered self-directed. 90% are other-directed. And other-directed people, nothing's ever their fault. They have no control over their life. They are totally governed by what they read, what they see, what they hear, what other people think. Whereas self-directed people say, this is my life. I'm responsible for my happiness. This is the gift that I've been given and I'm going to make it work. And in retirement, that's the best, in my view, the best way to go.